Well, Loretta Ray, I talked to the family's attorney for the first time. We are hearing more now about the victim. Elizabeth Girolongo was a beautiful soul. She was a, a bright young woman with a, a really great future ahead of her. That's how attorney Ryan Will says Elizabeth Girolongo's family describes her. They called her Lizzie. She grew up in South Florida, came to Central Florida to become a student at UCF, and graduated in May of last year. She was working at Magic in the Sky, a company that supplies fireworks to the parks, and the last shift she worked was supposed to be one of her last. Just a couple, couple more shifts and and ultimately it cost her life. Lizzie was one of four workers killed in this massive fire that overtook the warehouse in early December. Attorney Ryan Will says it's been devastating to her family. To get this news this close to the holidays, um, when she was working at a place that was supposed to bring joy to many, uh, it broke, it, it broke the family. Now the family filed a lawsuit this week against several businesses that share the building. It points the blame of the companies involved, saying the building was unsafe and without discharge areas to eliminate static electricity. Will says workers were allowed to wear whatever they wanted and use cell phones and that they were not properly trained. Um, but hired kids largely from the hospitality industry, uh, hotels and restaurants, brought them there and then gave them absolutely no training to work in this industry. Hundreds of pictures on an obituary website to give a look at Lizzie's life. While Will says nothing can bring her back, he and the family hope the lawsuits will bring accountability in her death. At a certain age, you think your kids have gotten past these dangers, um, that they can go to school, that they can go to work, um, that they are not going to be randomly hurt or killed. Well, we've reached out to the companies listed in the lawsuits, and we have not yet heard back. Live in the studio tonight, Christy Kern, Fox 35 News.